Thing. We'll be there in no time. Thirty-two! Thirty-three! Thirty... Oh, come on! Ah! Come on! One more! Come on! Ah! Screw you, Maury! Why you gotta be such a cock? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you, Maury! Fuck me? <laughs> fuck me? You can't fuck me, baby B. Name one thing you have ever been able to fuck me at. One thing! Huh? I lift more weights. I fly better choppers. I have better cars. I screw better women. Hell, I screw women. My bling ain't CZ, and my paper ain't a photocopy. What's up, Lou? So again, one! Ah. Hey, Maury, I gotta side with your brother on this one, man. I mean, you're fucking annoying. I mean, I work in nightclubs. I hang out with gangsters. I meet assholes 24 hours a day. But you? You take the cake, man. Oh, jeez, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm trying to toughen up my little bro here. My little bro who I love more than life itself. And you think that you can interfere with that? Yeah, I think maybe you're taking the tough love thing a little too far, man. I mean, I got sent to juvie when I was 17 years old for shooting a teacher who felt up my sister. They tried the tough love thing with me. It didn't fucking work too well. So maybe try a different fucking approach. You know what? I think you might be right. Come on, baby B. Let's hug it out. Yeah? Let's hug it out. Okay! Oh, I love okay. you. I love you, I do. I love you. It's just, the truth is I'm... I'm jealous. I am, I'm jealous. I'm jealous that, that you... are dating such a wonderful guy as Lou here. It's Luis. Whatever! I'm only kidding! Come on! Jesus, you guys are a couple of pent-up queens, I swear! Come on, let's go have some fun, huh? You too, B. Come on, stop sulking. Jesus, you're pathetic. <laughs> I love you, but you are such a pussy. Come on! Hey, we're picking these cars up on the north side of Middle Park. Take these headsets so I can be in your ear all the way, bitches. Brucey, bro, it's good to hang with you. I'm really happy you're along on this ride. Maury, bro, are you a fucking with me? Come on, little B. Hey, what do you take me for? It's good to have Lopez along, too, right? Hey, the three amigos. <laughs> Yo, two men and a little cunt. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Brucey? He called you a little cunt. Yeah, I wasn't talking about him, bro. Don't bring down the positive energy, Lopez. Me and my brother are having fun today. Yeah, man, we are. We should do this more often, bro. Oh, B, shit. Before I forget, there's this email that I got that I thought you'd be interested in. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh, you see? It's this doctor. He's a fucking genius. Yeah, he says he's made this pill that is gonna sort out that penis problem you got. <laughs> Fuck off, boy. I thought you were being cool, bro. No, no, I am, bro. I swear it. No, this guy can extend your hose by at least two to three inches. Hey, call me an asshole, but I'd be really psyched if my bro was back in a four-inch punch. How's that for cool? Shut up, Maury. The one thing you do got going for you is those roid ravaged beans in your sack. Yeah, anything would look big hanging next to those peanuts, right? Huh? Am I right? Shut the fuck up, Maury! <laughs> ah, pathetic! You see this guy, Lopez? What did I tell you? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I tend to stop listening when you open your mouth. Remind me again what you paid for that place in Broker, Brucey. Huh? Oh, and a garage, too. How much did you pay? I don't want to talk about this. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What are those properties worth now? <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about it, okay? Shit! You see? What did I tell you, Lopez? Overexposed like a stripper in Fleet Week. Only thing more useless than that little pecker of his is his portfolio. Ain't that right, Brucey? Yeah, leave him alone, Maury. You're even more annoying than usual. He's a bit like you and Big Tone, actually. Hey, you guys should start a Debtors Anonymous circle jerk together. <laughs> ah, here's our guy with the cars. Hey, you chumps could learn a thing this or two here. This game got me stressed. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip-off. Here you go. Huh? Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, don't go spend that all in one place, chump. All right, people. Money talks, and idiots walk. But bring down my car, man. Uh, 
Enjoy that shit, man. Did you see little Lou here, though? He started shitting his panties when the cops showed up. <laughs> hey, check it out, Brucey. You know, I think Lou here might be even slightly bigger pussy than you. <laughs> we're done, right? I mean, we're squared? You got your cars now, so now I don't have to sit here and listen to your tiny man bullshit. <laughs> sure, sure, Lou. Sure, sure, sure. You could go. If you're as dumb as you look. Ooh. Excuse me? You got an opportunity here. Look at me, look at me. Watch my lips move. I can teach you things. <laughs> Come on, think apprentice. Think uh, intern, minion, yeah. Think uh, squire boy. You, following me all around, learning to become a business mastermind. No more clubs, no more Tony Queen. You, my friend, could be free. <laughs> Maury, is this a joke, man? I mean, you're the guy that needs to learn something. Oh. Shit, you're awful, bro. I mean, maybe someone can teach you the most basic human behavior. Brucey, please, do this guy a favor. Brucey? Me? Yeah, you're the guy in the family with some manners. Whoa. You think that I could learn something from little B here? The marshmallow man. More. This pale piece of turd. All right, cut yeah. it out, M. The man is nothing but beyond right. pathetic. That's it, boy! Cut it out! Yeah! Yeah! Are yeah. you kidding? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, 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 God, oh, yeah, what the fuck, man, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, God, you know the rules. I'm, I'm sorry, Maury, uh, I forgot, man. Never, never in the face. Oh, come on, this is, this is top work up here. You know that I got a weak and zapped up. Okay, oh, just, just, just don't tell mom, okay? Okay? <laughs> 
Okay, 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 okay. Just, you're gonna take me home. <laughs> yeah, shit, okay, yeah, shit. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, I'll see you ladies later, okay? Yeah, uh, uh I'll see you at the club or something. Okay. I heard something. I have to walk. Whoa, hey, I don't want trouble. I'm headed to fish. We'll be there in no time. Oh, Jesus, Margo. Fancy seeing you here. Don't tell me you were just passing through. Yes. When you suddenly decided the view was better from there? I knew you'd come. How? I'm sorry, Luis. Hey, don't apologize. I love keeping people from killing themselves. It's a weird fetish of mine. No. I mean, I'm sorry we can't be together. You can't have me. I don't want you. Now, come on, get down from there. Must be easy for you. Thinking of me as being crazy, it must help. Yeah, it does, actually. Either that or I'd think I was. You're not crazy, Luis. You're empty. You don't care about anyone. You're a shell. You fuck people and then you ignore them. That's easy. It's a game, isn't it? No, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, just... I, I just don't want to marry you, okay? Maybe I am empty, like you said. Or maybe, like pretty much every man alive, I don't want to marry someone who's a complete psychopath. Okay, I don't care which it is. Just get over here, please. When I die, people will blame you. Yeah, either that or thank me. What? Nothing, nothing. Come on. Come on, get over here. If you loved me, you'd save me. I don't love you. I've got a letter telling everyone that you pushed me. Come on, get over here. Save me. Oh, God!
Dumb motherfucker. Yo, D, there ain't been a disaster, has there? <laughs> Nothing like that. I'm just thinking you could put in some hours at the Masonette. Make sure we're running things to your exacting standards. I know you can handle it, bro, but if you want me there, I'll come by. Luis. Yeah. It's me, Arnold. Thank fucking God I can see you. Thank you, God. Maybe you do exist. Uh, Arnold, what are you uh, doing down here, bro? Uh, well, we had a little incident. I don't mind when the girl play rough, but when the pimp come in and he plays rough too... Oh, la, 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 la. What happened, bro? I tell you, it is a bad combination. Chinese opium and Brazilian prostitutes. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, man. I was just nodding off after a little bit of light after dinner bondage, and when the pimp comes in, 
He steals my wallet and gives me a good beating. <laughs> For watching too much television? <laughs> somehow, uh, somehow I feel my dignity is still intact. Wait a second. You're a guy who just enjoyed an opium-laden threesome with some light bondage. How could your dignity ever be in question? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> my friend. Uh, well, maybe you can help me uh, get back the wallet. Hey, compared to the shit I dealt with today, okay, that doesn't sound so shady. <laughs> <laughs> so why the fuck you not? <laughs> I believe he is over on Bronco, my valiant Spaniard. Just ask me for the money. If he needed it, we could have made an arrangement. Perhaps a little forward. Maybe he didn't want to subject himself to no bondage, light or otherwise. He was perhaps more dumb than sad, that's true, but surely being a pimp implies some perversity, or at least curiosity. It would have been an experience. Yo, don't worry, bro. We're gonna subject him to some shit soon enough. Life is an unpredictable thing, my friend. You don't need to tell me. Here's an example for you to digest. This morning, a delicious 22-year-old girl left her parents' apartment in Mill Park East. The only thing on her mind was buying a coffee. But I made her a proposal. Soon she was drenched in champagne, bent over naked in my hotel suite. Before 11 a.m., she was shoveling cocaine into her nose with a caviar spoon and begging me to give it to her again. And a few up. That's him. Do you think you can get my wallet back? Motherfucker's driving off. We'll get him. Yo, it's a fresh boy. You ain't getting your cash back, You have all that stuff I found. I'm peeling, bro. I'm gonna drop you around the corner, bro. It ain't safe here. from now on if I was you. Things get rough out here in the boroughs. They do. And that's why I like it. It's your life you're playing with, bro. I just don't want to see you end up one of them devious sex stories gone wrong. Like one of them guys who strangle themselves trying to get off. A civilian like you coming out to the point is almost a suicidal. This is where I'm leaving you. You still might get robbed around here, but they won't kill you. Adieu, dear boy. It's been fun.
There's other cars on the road, yo! Yo, Mr. Bulgari here? Hey. If he does want to sell, I want to buy. How much oh. did you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million, and then we see if it is not for sale. If this painting is not hanging on my wall, your hat will be. Okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at this school? Not yet. I think there's always a price in this city. Oh, Louis, excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is a piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring me to this fucking country, and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking Dukes. Then you come and move all my stuff into hallway and fill place with fucking guitars. Shut up, bitch! Take your pills! A friend of mine is here! Ha! You don't have any friends. You don't even have a business here. You are nothing in business. My business. sister. She's still getting adjusted. We all are. So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray. You have ruined my life. Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard on for me. And why? Because Mark Yashwili won't sell me the rampage. You'll get rid of them. I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave that strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. All right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. Take out the whole team. No exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Fag man, no good. Go! Roll the bitch! Ting! 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 Take us to the basement parking lot in the middle park east. In 100 yards, turn right. Take these sticky bombs, Lois. We will need them for our new spread. Fuck that. I got explosives already. And over that MG of yours, I'm ready to go. Shit, man. It's good to have you with us, Lois. Yeah? Yes. It must be nice for you to get out from the under big Tony. I don't know what you're implying, bro. Don't eat me a partner. I got a stake in the Enterprise. <laughs> a stake? Sure. You still take orders from him, don't you? You clean up his shit. Look, it could be much more than that. Unless you enjoy working for such a man, partner or whatever you call him. Really, bro? What the fuck? I don't know. When I was left to my own devices, I got locked up. At least with Tony's guidance, I ain't doing time. Perhaps. For now, perhaps. But do you think you're achieving everything you could? A man with your talents, in your condition, you could have anything you want. I didn't get to where I am without being able to see you want the me fucking hit you, man. That's real flattering, Mr. Bulgari. But whatever it is you're offering, I'm gonna have to decline. Me and Tony's is a business relationship. He gets his kicks elsewhere, but he's been a good boss to me and a good guy. Help me out. I'm not a fucking faggot. Whatever you say, bro. But what are you talking about? I was saying that I may be interested in investing in your potential. Potential as what? 
As a businessman, I am looking for someone here in Liberty City with the correct relationship. I already got one employer. Like I said, he's been good to me. Of course, but what is he? He is a drug addict, a madman. You are useful to him, but you think that is all he wants from you? <laughs> when some new muscle-bound pretty boy comes along, he will forget about you and your precious stake in the Tony Prince Empire. Whatever, bro. Can we talk about something else? What am I doing here? You are helping me with my business. This don't seem like legitimate business to me, man. Guy. Nothing can be achieved here in Liberty City with actual pigs rooting through my affairs. For anything to happen, okay. they must... We need to go down into the lot. Mark up this spot by the pillar. Make sure a bomb is well hidden. We shall be concealed here. Calculating route. Treat for them. These guys are all crooked, huh? Marty has this in his pockets. This news team is in charge of half the drugs running in the city. Do not let your conscience worry you. Dimmer, bro. You ain't talking much. You nervous? Shut up. They're coming. That's the car. Get it and plant the evidence. I got the wrong car. Oh. in formation! Perfect! Load them up! This is it! 
of my sister. Excellent, excellent, Mexican Tacos. Oh. I still have smell of meat in nose. Bro, it's true. You are one who blew them up. That you did, Louis. A serviceable job. Most competent. How'd I get myself into this shit, man? You know how to get yourself into this? I choose you. I pick you out because I see potential in you. You're lucky to be here. Yeah, great, thanks. But if you need more cops to get out, crooked or otherwise, you ain't choosing me. Look at this. The sensitive, modern American man. You need to go home and exfoliate your bolts. May as well cut them off. What the fuck is this? I don't like killing government agents, so I ain't got no balls. Be a freak. Okay, calm down. We got no more law enforcement to expand. For now. Those who are the only guys lucky ahead of us. You think he will sell? He has no choice but to sell. We have taken away his protection. It's that simple, is it? It should be. Maki is a weakling. He lives here in exile, like all cowards. But he has been here for a long time, so he has bought connections that others of us have not been able to acquire. This little tree should have several different deals of those connections, and will give others involved a pause before they continue their association. Okay. Perhaps I will buy clubs of you as well. You sell them to me? Them clubs is levers to the max already, man. I don't know if there's anything left to sell. I don't care about other investors. They will forget about debts if I'm involved. Some of these investors aren't the type to go away. They aren't the type to pay off either. Anyway, it's not my place to sell them. I have a stake, but Tony's got the controlling share. Ha <laughs> ha! Of course! Tony pulls the string and the little puppet man dance for him. Let me know when Tony next has hand up your ass and ventriloquists dummy can talk. Fuck, man. What's wrong with you? Your stake is bullshit. You think you run the club, but you are still just security. You are Tony's gimp, and you won't admit it. It's not like that. This what you want to do your whole life? No, but seriously, bro. I have opportunities for you. Think about them. Think about what I said to you. The offer will not be there forever. Okay, I will. Send my regards to Big Tony. For crying out loud, move this bullcrap! I've got some stock options. For crotch? <laughs> <laughs>